Hey, how you doing guys? I'm on a service call. Um, there's uh, 87 degrees outside. There's this air conditioner that is not doing anything. They turn it on and nothing happens. So we're gonna see what's going on. Um, it might be a thermostat, a transformer. I don't know. We have to check it out. Uh, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. The thermostat doesn't do anything. We put it in fan on and it doesn't do anything. It's in cool, so it doesn't do anything. So I can think of three things, the thermostat, the 24 volt transformer, or um, the fan relay. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check the breakers, make sure the breakers are on and they're on. So once I remove the ceiling tiles, this is what we see. This is the air handler. It is a pain in the ass to work on. This is my air handler, my condensate tray, and then the water goes into a drain right here. So I have my supplies, bathroom, living room, kitchen, bedroom, and then my return is right here too, in the same uh, hallway. So this is, uh, this is my uh, motor, for the, my fan motor, and it has two cages, one to the right and one to the left. And this is, I have to remove these because the controls are here, the transformer and the um, fan, fan switch. So this is an old unit. You know, there, there are no fuses, no control boards that tells you what's going on, no lights diagnostic lights to help you so um, I checked my fan relay you know this uh, has 20, a coil a 24 volt coil and then it has uh, the, the, the line side so when you call for heat uh, this the coil makes and then it sends the power to the fan I don't have 24 volts to my uh, coil so it's for sure the transformer so um, we're gonna check uh, for a short in the thermostat wire the wire is going to the thermostat and the wire is going to the condensing unit in the rooftop okay guys so I just put a new uh, a new transformer and it burned it right away uh, I just I checked the wires um, going to the rooftop and checked the wires to the thermostat and they were fine. Now I have to check the contactor coil. Sometimes the coil in the contactor it's shorted out. So I I have a new contactor here and we're gonna test the coil, just the coil. So I'm gonna put a one um, one lead on one side and the other one on the other side as you could see there and it's reading 17.3 ohms so a contactor coil when it's good it should measure between 10 and 20 so and this one has 17.4 so this is the new one now we're gonna test the old one and now I'm putting uh, we're gonna test the coil on the old contactor coil so that's our coil. We have one lead on one side and the other one on the other side. So this is point, point 0.3, 0 0.3, so not even one. That means if it's below 10, we can call it bad. And then uh, the coil is to be blamed on this short. Okay, I installed a new contactor, so um, I'm gonna try and then see what happens. So these are the two transformers, the one that was burnt and then the one that I installed that it burnt because I didn't uh, check everything. Air conditioner is fixed, um, just some food for thought. It'll save you some time. When you have a short on the low voltage, remember to check the thermostat 
the thermostat wire, check the contactor and the contactor wires. Now remember this is air conditioner only. Remember to check the loads. The loads that uh, the low voltage wires send power to. I never seen a contactor coil shorted out. I've seen it that it doesn't work. The contacts don't work and I replace a few of them but I never encounter uh, the coils being shorted. I've seen them that they don't work but not shorted out so this is always the first time. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next video. Thank you so much.